Hi, and welcome to another screencast from eDesign360. This is your host, Ames Brown, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up a brand new website, hosting site, and install uh, your first Web2 app uh, to act as the front end for your site. And in this case, we're going to be using WordPress. So let's assume that you've just uh, registered with your hosting provider, uh, in this case, Arvix, and uh, you're waiting anxiously for your domain name that you registered to become live so that you can log in and get started. Now, you may have to wait a bit. It takes a little while for the domain name servers, uh, DNS servers for short, to update themselves across the internet and depending upon how far downstream on the internet your access provider is, uh, it could take anywhere from less than half an hour to the better part of a day. So what will happen when your uh, domain name is successfully resolving is that you'll get to some sort of default landing page. So I've set up uh, our eDesign 360 site so that I can demonstrate this, and I'm going to put in the domain eDesign360.us, and I hit enter. And I, if the uh, domain is successfully resolving and uh, uh, your uh, main DNS server for your access provider uh, has been updated so that it knows where to go, then instead of uh, an error message, you're actually going to get a landing page. And this is what it looks like for Arvix. Uh, it's just a default page that appears. And when you see that page, uh, then you know that your site is live, uh, that your server account, your hosting account is all set up and ready to go. So the first thing we want to do, because uh, this is a cPanel-based site, uh, is to log in to cPanel. And so I'm going to type in cPanel just after uh, the slash in the URL field at the top of the web browser. And uh, a uh, pop-up is going to appear asking you for a username and password, uh, depending on which web browser you're using. In this case, it's Firefox, uh, but Internet Explorer will show these two fields slightly differently. So will uh, Safari, Opera, etc. So, uh, but you're going to get uh, some some type of uh, 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 pop-up window or uh, embedded. Uh, form field window with two form fields for your username and password. And these are what you set up when you registered with your hosting provider. Uh, and uh, you should already have received confirmation of your username and password for your cPanel access uh, from your hosting provider when you initiated your account. So I'm going to log in with uh, the username and password for my site. And here we go. Uh, it brings us straight into the cPanel interface, which is sort of like uh, the equivalent of the desktop of your computer, uh, except it's the uh, remote interface uh, to your server backend uh, for uh, your site. And I'll just click no, fine, I'm thanks. Uh, and uh, I'm ready to go. Now, uh, the two different uh, tools in cPanel that we're going to be using in this demonstration are uh, the WW redirects. We'll be using that uh, to uh, set it up so that after we install our front end uh, with the WordPress uh, application that we can make uh, our primary domain go directly to it when people type it in. So that's the second tool we'll be using. And the first tool we're going to be using is Softaculous. Uh, and this is uh, usually only provided by uh, upper end uh, hosting providers. It's a very comprehensive uh, 
set of installers for uh, close to uh, 200 different uh, Web2 applications. So uh, it already has the first uh, section expanded here. I'm uh, just going to collapse that so you can see here how many different uh, classifications of apps you have to install. And we're going to be interested right now in installing WordPress. So we're going to expand here. And here we can see WordPress, and I click on it. And I uh, can see that the current version available to install is 3.1. So I'm going to click the Install tab here. And here's where I have a few decisions to make. Um, by default, uh, WordPress, as most apps do, they use uh, either uh, an acronym for uh, the software or uh, the actual name to uh, name the folder in which it will be installed. And uh, so I'm going to suggest uh, using something that creates a, a more subtle welcoming uh, URL and to actually type in welcome here uh, for your um, folder where WordPress is going to be installed. And that will allow your domain name slash welcome to actually become the front end of your site. Uh, since I already have a, a welcome, uh, in my case, I'm just going to put a two after it for this demonstration. Uh, and the database name, we can leave all of these other types of things uh, already set the way that they are, and they'll work fine for uh, the installation on the back end. Uh, and here, uh, you might want to uh, put in the initial uh, masthead name for uh, your site, and uh, in this case it's eDesign360, uh, and then uh, you can have a uh, subtitle. Uh, so you can think of this as a uh, uh, short phrase, uh, a tagline, uh, uh, making design central in everything you do. Uh, you know, that might be something to use as a, uh, a starter tagline. It's not the actual tagline. We use it at eDesign360, but it gives you uh, the idea. You can always change this later after uh, you go into the dashboard of WordPress. Um, and uh, here, uh, you're going to put in your uh, username and password. I'm going to suggest you use the same one that you use for your uh, main site, just so that uh, you can be consistent in the use of uh, the same uh, username and password that you use for all the different aspects of your backend management uh, of your site. So in this case, here, and then uh, type in my password, uh, and uh, so uh, I'm just going to, for this uh, demonstration, uh, use uh, pass. And uh, by default, uh, you have uh, an administrative email that's uh, provided. Uh, you might want to, for now, uh, actually uh, put in uh, the uh, regular uh, email address that you use uh, that, uh, and later on you can change this. And then you can have your details uh, sent to uh, your uh, uh, regular email as well. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, I'll just put in my same address here. Okay, so uh, I'm ready to go. I'm just checking back. Uh, remember, uh, for you guys, I suggest having welcome. I had to put two here because I already had a directory called uh, welcome. Keep it all lowercase. That becomes very important, upper and lowercase in the subdirectories of your site. And uh, I've put in my site name and site description. And I can change that later. And I'm using uh, the uh, uh, same username and password that I use for my main site, and then uh, the email that uh, I like to use, and then I'll have the information sent to me, uh, and 
I'll click install. There we go. Uh, so it tells us that uh, WordPress has been successfully installed. Uh, and uh, I can actually click on this link here and it will take me, and you can see up here now we have welcome to became the subdirectory. So you can see why using the word welcome becomes a much nicer uh, entry name if uh, people are automatically taken uh, to the site. So uh, this is the default landing page that you see uh, with all WordPress uh, installations. Uh, you can see the initial title that I put in. You can see uh, the uh, description or tagline that I put in. And uh, this can all be uh, changed when we do login. So here you can log in and actually uh, start working uh, on <coughs> uh, making the WordPress uh, front end become yours and take on the look and feel that you want uh, for your site. So um, notice when I take off the welcome up here that we're still showing that initial landing page because that's sitting there uh, by default in our directory. So I'm going to come back here and uh, I still have the tab open from Sautaculus. I click on the hammer to get back to cPanel. And here's where we're going to use that other tool called WW Redirects. And uh, what we want to do is make uh, it so that when people type in just the main domain name, that's automatically going to take us to the WordPress installation front end. So I click here and select my primary domain. And here I'm going to type the full uh, address. So uh, I'm saying uh, edesign360 us slash uh, welcome and uh, in my case uh, I have a two on the end simply because I already had a welcome directory and then I'll put another ending slash just to play it safe don't need to but that usually uh, assures that uh, it's going to take us directly into the welcome to directory and uh, you'll see here it's already set for redirecting with or without www. These days you don't need to use www on the front of uh, web addresses. And uh, I'll click uh, add. And it now tells us that the main domain will redirect us to where that WordPress installation is. So uh, let's test it out. Uh, I'm going to now uh, refresh this and look at that right so then when people type in uh, the domain it's going to automatically take us there so that is what a redirect is and uh, we now have uh, the basics uh, to get started uh, for uh, the front end uh, of our site using WordPress and we know how to log into cPanel to manage the back end. Uh, so we're off and going. Uh, have fun. And this has been eDesign360. Join us again for another screencast in the near future.